Hey everybody, Dr. Venus Opal Reese, your hot mess millionaire here and happy. Um, we were out for our morning walk and um, just breathing, just breathing, just breathing. Get my breath back. I've been in a um, full blown um, reaction, um, PTSD reaction for since Wednesday. So it's been taking me a minute to get my breath back, but I'm good now. I'm, I'm, I'm balanced. Hey, baby. And um, I've just been being with everything that's unfurling in our in our world and, 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 and with our men. And um, I was walking this morning with, with Happy and one of my friends called me. Um, and I'm emotional, so I should tell you I'm emotional. And it's okay to be emotional, okay? So this, I'm this emotional. <laughs> And it's okay. It's okay to be emotional. It's okay to be angry. It's okay to feel feelings. So don't worry. That's, I'm, I'm good. Okay. But I got to tell you something before I start crying like a little, you know, <laughs> before I start crying. Um, you know, if you look at, I know you, I know you know what's happening. So I'm not gonna put a lot of language on it, but this is what I'm doing. All right. Because people are quick to turn the victim into the perpetrator. And I'm done. I'm done with it. And I will use every resource I have. Every resource I got, okay? To do whatever I can to have our men be safe, to have us be safe, and to get this world to work, all right? And I want to say, I want to give a real shout out before I tell you the invitation to all of, all of the white people who are putting their butts on the front lines. I was like, it was the first time it gave me hope. Do you understand? It gave me hope because I have never, do you remember that movie, um, A Time to Kill with Samuel L. Jackson in it? And that last monologue about the little black girl who had been totally violated and, and tarnished and broken by white men and he said now imagine if she was white I couldn't do it my brain couldn't do it because I could not see a white baby girl being treated like how they treat black baby girls so I didn't say anything I couldn't even deal with it but then when I saw the, the not only the peaceful protest but I saw all the white women in a line protecting us you know what i'm saying and and then the, there's a white woman who this, this cop pushed a bike into a black woman this white woman leaped across like and then 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 you know to see the commentators and even some of my peers you know and then there's you know and i want to say thank you to some of my peers <laughs> for their support it's hard to explain, but I know what it feels like. So, so this is what I'm gonna do because, like I said, I'm you know <laughs> I'm emotional. But this is what I'm gonna do. Tomorrow at 5 p.m. I'm not promoting shit. I'm not promoting any of my. What I want to do tomorrow is I want to create a safe space for black men just to speak and say what it's like for them and let us hear it. And um, I'm gonna do it with my girl, her name is Courtney Stewart. We're gonna do it tomorrow at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. You can go by, it's this way, the camera's this way. But, okay, no problem, thank you, sir. And so what I'm gonna do is do my Facebook Live on Monday, tomorrow at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, but it's an invitation to black men. And ladies, you can come, please come and bear witness. Come and hear them. Give them a safe place to express so it doesn't have to erupt. Do you know what I'm saying? And so I just want to put that, I want to put that out. If you know some black men, invite them. I'm not going to do it on my Hot Mess Millionaire link. I'm going to do it here on this, um, on my um, fan page. Um, so they don't have to go through all the, you know, all the stuff to get there. Come on, baby. Come on. They just told us we have to leave. Come on. It's okay. And so, um, so that was it. But, um. If, if you say you for me, actually, well, I can see why Malcolm X is so extreme. Like, either you're for me or against me. I get that shit. You know what I'm saying? In ways that are so real. And for the 
for all the white people and people, even people of color who are not black people happy. Come on, baby, we have to go. Thank you. Thank you. My, I can't all I, I can't even help you understand what it means. You, you, you know, this is historical. This is not just one body. This is not just one knee on somebody's neck and watching him die for eight minutes and 42 seconds. That's not, you know what I'm saying? It's bigger than that. And, then, and I don't know if it's bigger than that, but that's the best I can say right now because our lives are precious. It's more than mattering. Do you understand? Precious. And we need and we need the creativity and the life force of black men. We need them alive. And I'm not saying black women aren't getting hurt. I want y'all to be clear. I know there's a black baby girl who got dead a couple of days ago and I apologize to her family and everybody about that because I know this is not getting as much visibility as George Floyd, but this is the thing, watching the police stand there and let him die, and then not do anything. And we get to see a public execution that's no different than a public fucking lynching in the 1900s or the 1800s. You see what I'm saying? So, this histor historically, this hits me in ways that I can't even, that I'm not even gonna try the language, but what I can do is I can use my platform I can use my platform to help. So that's what we're gonna do. So tomorrow, we're gonna not do shit, fuck. We're not gonna do, hold on a second. I'm not, I'm not promoting anything. I'm gonna um, use my platform in service, in service of us, in service of us you know? And, um, and it's for black men, so please, I have black men nowhere to come tomorrow at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I'm going to um, sh share this link. Share this link. Because otherwise they won't even know. Do you know what I'm saying? They won't know that we want to hear them. And we want to support. And, and, every race is, and every race is invited. You don't have to be black to be here. The, if you get hit by a water hose, you get hit by a, a bullet or dogs or cars being driven into groups of people for peacefully protesting, then you are welcomed here. You are welcomed on my on my platform, okay? So that's it. I love you with my whole heart. I gotta go because we got all kinds of stuff popping off in LA. But um, I will see you tomorrow at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on my um, my um, fan page, my Dr. Venus Oprah Facebook fan page, Dr. Venus Oprah Reese, and the, and the it's um, let them speak. Let us speak. It's a safe space for black men to be heard. No questions, no, no condemnation, no judgment, no request, no demand. Just a place for you to be heard so you have a place where it's safe to be angry and not have it turned into that you're violent because you're pissed. All right, so, so, that's, what, so that's, that's what we're doing, all right? Please share this so they know they have a space if you don't share it, they won't know, okay? Um, that's all I got. I love you, and I will see you tomorrow for Let, Let Them Speak, a safe space for black men to be heard. Tomorrow at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on um, I, I, on my Facebook page, and I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it as a Zoom so that if some black men want to come up and join and, and want to talk, they can have the mic. Do you see what I'm saying? So Courtney and I, we're going to be together because Courtney keep me from cursing motherfuckers out. Thank you, Jesus, hallelujah, right? And she's brilliant. She's um, the co-host of Black, um, what is it, Black Hollywood Online. And she's really good at extracting these really brilliant salient points, right? So I, I wanted to do it with her because I love her and I trust her as a black woman. And um, we got, we, I, I, she's, we, we're friends. So I know we can, she, she'll be great with it. And you know, I, you know I'm emotional and she's more balanced. <laughs> so anyway, but, um, but we'll be able to pass the mic and they'll be able to be heard. And our job literally, literally is to hear them. No judgment, no condemnation, no request, no demand. A safe space, the same way we have safe spaces as black women. You know what I'm saying? We create them for ourselves, let's create it for him, okay? And for them, all right? I love you. I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye for now.